So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marcin Wielec and as the, as the director of the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, on behalf of the entire management of this institute, our institute, I cordially greet everyone at the ceremonial opening of another international research project at the Institute of Justice in Warsaw. <clears throat> Let me first introduce the people who are with me. Pan Professor, Mr. Professor Paweł Sobczyk, Deputy Director of the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, Dean of the Faculty of Law and Administration of the University of Opole. Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> With me is <clears throat> Dr. Konrad Burjak, <clears throat> Assistant of the Professor in, in the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, uh, and the first person contact in our project. A, he is a very important person because he will be to the one of the contract directly on your content related or on organizational matters in this project. Konrad is the direct link between the Institute and you in this project. Also with me is Mr. Bartomi Orejak, coordinator of the Center of Strategic Analysis at the Institute of Justice in Warsaw. The project that we, we are launching today is structurally belonging at the Center of Strategic Analysis at the Institute of Justice. Bartek is a, is a person who will be responsible for the supervision and implementation of this project. Mrs. Agata Rubel from the Center of Strategic Analysis of the Institute of Justice, who is an assistant in this project, is also with us. Agata. So, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, let me present briefly some information about the Institute of Justice in Warsaw at this point. Our institute is leading, leading scientific and research unit in Poland. We're proud of them. We conduct research on widely understood issues of the functioning of law. As the only unit in Poland, we run the so-called file research. We observe how, for example, a given inst institution or legal solution function of the basis of the law in action, living law, at the basis of knowledge and information from the true case files. At the end, we prepared a report that includes uh, diagnosis and proposals for possible solutions, changes or modification to a um, specific legal provision or institution. The second segment of the functioning of the Institute of Justice in Warsaw is comparative research in which we try to recognize with the legal system of other in other countries and learn about the best solution in a specific field. Hence, the idea to establish independent research platform devoted to research of the law in individual countries. Two years ago, we established cooperation with the Institute of Comparative Law, for instance, in Budapest. We were the first to create the Polish-Hungarian research platform. Two edition of this program have already taken place. In the first edition, the researchers studied such issues as the reform of administrative procedure, rule of law, effectiveness of justice, possibility to rational changing of, of constitution. This year, we have already launched the second edition in this project. The subject of this project is the same and our mediation in court proceedings, the legal protection of older people, legal aspects of artificial intelligence, and the reform of administrative procedure part two. And so it is time to extend international cooperation, Institute of Justice in the field of research on law to other European countries. As of today, therefore, there are four parallel research platforms aimed at scientific and research exchange and cooperation with Hungary, Croatia, Ukraine and Slovakia. Dear friends, I must admit that this cooperation, apart from a poorly scientific and research goal, has another goal of creating a mutual network of scientific scientists from Central Europe. We dream that it is Central Europe based on the well-known and proven foundation of life, philosophy, axiology, and rationally law that in the future will become an area of the new ideas or new legal solutions. Our activities, that is, 
the creation of this research platform is such a small step in this direction. I assure you that it is a great honor that we'll work together. You bring to this project something that is most important. It is your knowledge and experience. And maybe in the future, it will be the case that this research platform project will become even more powerful research project comparable to those carried out by research institution in Western Europe. It makes a lot of sense in what we do. We are trying to join forces among scientists from Central Europe in such a way that this region of Europe becomes a place of modern but valuable law based on proven standards, logical thinking, and in accordance with the natural order of the things. On my own behalf, but also on behalf of the entire management of the Institute of Justice, I would like to thank all scientists from Croatia, Slovakia, and Ukraine for joining our group and following the path of scientific truth and curiosity. I have no doubt that all three or even four platforms will bring in interesting research results, new solutions, sorry, new solutions, or modern and rationally modification in law. Thank you once again for participating in this project. I hope next year at this time we will extend the platforms, our platforms to other Central European countries and that we will continue to work for our societies and Central European countries. According to the agenda, of today's meeting, I give the floor to Bartomir Orejak, who will present to us the profiles of this project. Bartek, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, dear professor, dear uh, director. And uh, well, yes, uh, we have uh, already presentation. So the overall objective of the project is to strengthen international cooperation uh, between top scientists from Poland, Croatia, Slovakia, and Ukraine. Uh, of course, uh, the research will be conducted independently of uh, each other, but we hope that uh, during uh, the International Scientific Conference, which will be the culmination of the project and, uh, of course, less formal uh, meetings with, um, within the project, uh, permanent scientific contacts will be established between the representatives of individual research platforms. We are convicted uh, that strength, uh, the strength lies in cooperation and uh, unit between the representatives of different nationalities and that our projects will bring us closer to this goal. Uh, however, uh, we are also interested in the effect of proposing change in the law, uh, which would allow for its improvement. We are convicted that broadening the research horizon beyond one specific country and thus applying the comparative law method may allow to work out appropriate legal uh, changes resulting in the improvement of the life of individual communities. Uh, we hope uh, to develop proposals for and uh, this is uh, first an appropriate legal framework to enable the use of artificial intelligence solutions for legal proposals in Poland. This is domestic law, criminal, civil, administrative and uh, um, international, public and private law. Uh, the second for solutions uh, to increase the effectiveness and uh, universality of mediation in card proceedings in Poland, with particular emphasis on mediation in civil and criminal proceedings, and for uh, free uh, for an appropriate legal framework to increase the effectiveness of the protection of the elderly from current uh, treats arising from daily functioning in society in Poland. This is criminal, civil, administrative law, and last but of course not least uh, for. Uh, for an appropriate legal framework to facilit uh, facilitate uh, administrative proceedings in Poland. That is why within each research platform we have, uh, for, as in, 
four research teams that will deal with the issues of artificial intelligence, mediation, protection of the elderly and administrative judiciary. The planned results of the project are the first, preparation of scientific uh, proposals for changes uh, in uh, Polish and international law. The second, preparation of a scientific monograph covering the results of the research conducted within the project. And third, uh, organization of an international scientific con conference uh, to disseminate the results uh, of the conducted research. And the project management consists of three people, the uh, Institute of Justice Director, the Institute of Justice uh, Deputy Director, and the Strategic Analysis Center Coordinator. Um, the project coordinator is Konrad Burjak, and the project assistant is Agata Rubel. And this is all from my side. Thank you very much. Bartek, thank you very much, and uh, I'm cordially asking the floor, Konrad. Konrad, uh, introduce the presentation of the research team members. Konrad, please start. <coughs> thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Konrad Burjak. Uh, I'm an assistant uh, professor at the Institute of Justice and the project coordinator um, uh, for the projects uh, Polish Croatian, Polish Slovak, and Polish Ukrainian research platform. Um, let me present the uh, characteristics, the profiles of the research of the researchers uh, of the research teams um, uh, of our platforms. Um, first. Polish Croatian Research Platform. Um, first member, um, Christian Turkali. Uh, he's a PhD. He's a lecturer at the Croatian Catholic University. He's a lecturer in Fundamentals of European Public Law. Uh, he graduated in 1995 from the Faculty of Law in Zagreb, where he also received his master's degree in 2000 on the topic demarcation of the territorial sea between Croatia and Slovenia in the Gulf of Trist and Piran, respectively. He took the bar exam in 2009 at the uh, Faculty of Law, University of Zagreb in 2000. 11, he defended his doctoral dissertation entitled A Legal and Institutional Framework of the European Union for the Suppression of Terrorism. He is a member of the Croatian Academy of Legal Sciences, the Association of Croatian Diplomats, and the Center of Excellence of the Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs. He teaches the course Fundamentals of European Public Law at the Croatia Catholic University. Second researcher is Sunchana Roksandic. Um, she's a PhD associate professor at the Department of Criminal Law Faculty of Law at the University of Zagreb in Croatia. She teaches courses in English English and Croatian, uh, criminal law, economic criminal law, or also on postgraduate and PhD level, EU substantive criminal law and protection of victims, bioethics and human rights, UNESCO core curriculum, transitional justice, law, and the movies. She's the author of more than 200 scientific papers. First, third research team member, Lucia Sokanovic. Uh, she's a PhD. She's an assistant uh, professor. She graduated from the Faculty of Law in Split in 2000 and received her PhD in 2014 at the Faculty of Law in Zagreb. Since 2004, she has been empl employed as a research fellow, assistant, senior assistant, and assistant professor at the Faculty of Law, University of Split. She participates in conducting classes in criminal law, 
economic criminal law, environmental criminal law, sports criminal law, and EU public financial law. She has been professionally trained at the Max Planck Institute for Foreign and International Criminal Law in Freiburg and the Freie Universität in Berlin. The International Institute of Higher Studies in Criminal Sciences in Syracuse, the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Science in Amsterdam. She is author and co-author of scientific papers in Croatian, English and German in the field of criminal law and has lectured at domestic and international scientific conferences in the Republic of Croatia and abroad. In addition to the Faculty of Law, she also teaches at the Forensic Department for University Studies at the University of Split. And the last member uh, is uh, Anna Maria getos uh, She's a professor, uh, head of the um, Balkan Criminology University of Zagreb's Faculty of Law. Uh, Dr. Anna Maria getos uh, holds a tenured associate professorship at the University of Zagreb's Faculty of Law, where she has been conducting criminological research and teaching criminology, victimology, penology, and the basics of criminal law since 2006. In 2018, she has been appointed professor in Vite at the University of Lausanne School of Criminal Sciences, whereas in 2020, she has also been appointed professor in Vite at Sciences Po in Paris. She has recently completed an extended research stay at the Max Planck Institute for Foreign and International Criminal Law in Freiburg as foreign visitor professor. Next uh, platform is Polish Slovak research platform. And first research participant, research member, uh, Zuzanna Adamowa. Zuzanna Adamowa is a PhD. She is an expert in legal aspects of new technologies, cyberspace, personal data protection, and intellectual property. She works at Petco NCO Law Firm and is the director of the Institute of Intellectual Property and Information Technology Law at the University of Trnava in Trnava. She also acts as a patent attorney and as an expert at the Arbitration Center for Alternative Domain Dispute Resolution, where she arbitrates disputes for SK domains. She is a member of editorial boards, expert and legislative groups, and is the author of numerous publications in the field of intellectual property. Second team member is Robert Dobrowolski. Robert Dobrowolski is a PhD, legal master. He's an employee of the Faculty of Law, University of Trnava, Department of Civil and Commercial Law. As a part of the Student Support Center activities, he offers legal assistance to students in difficult life situations that can be resolved or at least mitigated by this assistance. The third research member is Peter Mesharos. Peter Mesharos is a PhD. He studied law at the Faculty of Law of the Trnava University in Trnava. During his university studies, he worked as an assistant in the legal department of a commercial bank. He has been working as an associate science since 2018. He is also a university teacher in the area of private law. He has been actively participating at conferences, both at national and international level, including other academic activities. He is an active English speaker. His legal practice is specialized in consumer, commercial, and labor law. And now uh, let me pass the floor to project assistant Agatha Vroom. Thank you very much. I will continue the presentation. And we are going to um, the third um, uh, research platform. It is Polish Ukrainian research platform. And the first member is Peter Mezaros. 
and he studied law at the Faculty of Law of the Trinava University. During his university studies, he worked as an assistant in the legal department of a commercial bank. He has been working as an associate since uh, 2011. He is also a university teacher uh, in the areas of private law and has been actively participating at conferences both at the national and international level, including uh, other academic activities. He is an active English speaker and uh, his legal practice uh, is spe specialized uh, in consumer, commercial and labor law. The next member is Oksana Bratasiuk. Yeah, here we are. Oksana Bratasiuk, uh, in the 2015, uh, received uh, the academic title of associate professor, worked in the experience uh, in the higher education institutions uh, is, uh, to um, 20 years. Uh, she is currently the head of the Department of Constitutional, Administrative and Financial Law of the Western U U Ukrainian National University. Uh, she gives lectures on the courses Administrative Law, Comparative Administrative Law and Human Rights. She is the author of more than 80 publications, uh, including 60 scientific and other educational methodological um, publications. And the next, um, the next member is Angelica Baran. Um, and in 2021, has, uh, she has been working as an associate professor at the Department of International uh, Law and uh, Migration Policy uh, of West uh, Ukrainian Nation, uh, National University. She has experience uh, in teaching the following disciplines, theory of law, History of law, international human rights protection, mediation in the system of human rights protection, the research interests are history of the state and law, international protection of human rights, and she is um, an author of more than uh, 50 scientific papers. And the last but not least uh, member is uh, Oleg Triboy. Uh, Oleg Triboy delivers in uh, the Master of Mediation and Conflict Resolution uh, program the courses Introduction to Mediation, History of Mediation, Theory and Practice of Mediation, Business Mediation uh, in the Master of Global Business Management course on International Legal Environment. Oleg has a degree of uh, the Master of Law, Master of Economics and Professional Mediator. Thank you. Thank you very much, Agatha. And uh, the last information about the project structure um, is the information that during the project you will be uh, working closely with the scientists from Poland. Uh, in the uh, case of a uh, Polish-Croatian research platform, uh, it will be director of the Institute of Justice, Professor Marcin Bielec. In case of uh, Polish-Slovak uh, research platform, it will be a um, PhD candidate, uh, Dartwomi Orenziak. And in case of uh, Polish-Ukrainian research platform, it will be uh, deputy director of the Institute of Justice, uh, Professor Paweł Soch. Uh, my job today is to um, discuss um, uh, shortly uh, the project milestones. Um, there are generally three project milestones, uh, research concept, research report, and international scientific conference. Um, during the project, um, you will be you, you, you're, you're obliged to develop a research concept for the research team, allowing to achieve the main goal of the research team. For example, in case of administrative judiciary research team, the main objective will be to develop proposals for an appropriate legal framework to facilitate administrative proceedings in Poland based on solutions developed in this area in Croatia, Slovakia or Ukraine. 
Uh, among other things, the concept must include a clear and precise statement of research objectives, including research questions and hypotheses, the research methods planned to be used, the significance of the planned research for the development of legal science and the situation of society, and the planned timelines for achieving each of the anticipated partial deliverables to achieve for um, uh, to achieve uh, the research team main research outcome over the course of the project. The research concept of the research team shall be prepared in English and shall be submitted um, no later than July 20. Second project milestone uh, is preparation of a report. Report shall be prepared in English and it shall be submitted no later than 30 November. Uh, it's important that the, in the report you shall present the results of your research and the report should consist of maximum 80,000 characters with spaces um, with text boxes and footnotes, but without the final references. It should contain the legeferenda postulates for the Polish and international legislator and information on other possibilities of using the research results in legal theory and practice. And the last project milestone is the participation in an international uh, conference and presentation at the international scientific conference the results of your research conducted in uh, July, November and uh, the international scientific conference will be organized by the uh, Institute of Justice until December 15. Of course, you will be. Uh, we will inform you. We will inform you about the date of the conference at least two weeks before the event. Um, that's all. Uh, let me uh, pass the floor to the director of the Institute of Justice, um, uh, Professor Martin Vietz. Conrad, thank you very much. So, uh, it is very short uh, invitation uh, meeting. Uh, we want to transfer to you only main uh, information to provide to lead uh, our, our, our project. So I said, I, I mentioned it is our, we have four international scientific platform with the Hungary, Croatia now and Ukraine and Slovakia. So we're proud of our cooperation and we, we, we will wait to for, for the fruitful results, uh, create a good friendship, relationship uh, and to meet in person, maybe in Warsaw, uh, on the final extent of our, 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 our project. So, and maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, someone of our participants uh, have given the floor, the voice, please. It's a time of remark, it's a time for opinion. Miss, Mrs. Professor, Mrs. 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 Professor uh, Sunkana Roksavic. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. We learn <laughs> this 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 uh, this name all of group. Sorry, Mrs. Professor, the floor is yours. I only repeat all the participants. We we proud for our activities in this project. In, and said this in the name of the Institute of Justice, all Institute of Justice, and I, I think of the Minister of Justice too. Mrs. Professor, please. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. You very much. Uh, it was uh, a pleasure. I don't know if you heard me in echo. In echo. 
know why, but why? I just why? wanted why? to uh, uh, say thank you for this uh, introduction for the top for our joint project and that I'm very happy to participate personally in artificial intelligence project because this is one of the key years to come. I'm looking for cooperation. Ms. Professor, thank you very much. So as I see that the choose this topic on uh, this subject of our project is very important in my opinion in our opinion this is the modern topic to, uh, to 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 give us the new information the new approaching for this 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 subject and i i silent count that uh, for uh, very interesting remarks uh, notice and results of our project in each group in each in each group Mrs. Mrs. Professor, I thank you again. So maybe someone tell to us. So we have this opportunity to to connect with the Croatia, with the Ukraine, with the Slovakia is a is a is good. But of course, so I will be looking forward. We will we will looking forward to contact in person. Of course, maybe someone want to give the floor. So I, I, I again repeat that the Conrad is a, a first person, first touch person, first contact person uh, for all group in this project. Of course, we are supervisors of uh, the each group. My pleasure is creation. Uh, we we will send the mail with our mind, Pavel Bartek uh, data of contact. Uh, to us, uh, Agatha and 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 Conrad uh, are first first touch people here, first touch my staff, uh, uh, workers of Institute of Justice, and I ha I know that our cooperation will be very fruitful, very friendship, and as I said. The second goal of our cooperation is to uh, create a very close relationship to the uh, scientific and researcher cooperation in the Central Europe. In this case, maybe in the future, we, we will create a very strong and very, very, uh, very clever place to the, uh, transfer our opinion and create the good law for our societies in our our state. Professor Turkali. Uh, Mrs. Professor Turkali, please. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we cannot hear you, Professor. Thank Mrs. You. Professor. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, Thank yes. You. We hear good. Just to say that it's a real pleasure to be part of the platform. Uh, I had a uh, uh, very good relationship with Poland, 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 when I was a negotiator. A negotiator. So, and now I hope I will have the relations with Poland. I would just I like to ask you, ask you one, one very practical, very practical question. question regarding the regarding concept. The concept uh, is it something which uh, can uh, uh, jointly uh, in uh, each, uh, uh, each uh, portfolio or each uh, expert should be uh, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Conrad. Uh, Professor Turkai, each expert is obliged to prepare his own research concept. So it depends on you what would you like um to do during the month july november uh, during the research project uh, uh, polish croatian research platform in your case yes so it depends on you thank you thank you uh, thank you very much professor uh now professor zuzanna Adamuk. 
Mrs. Professor, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh. Professor, we cannot hear you. No, no, no. Now? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now it's all, all right. Yeah, it was yeah. necessary to switch the internet. Okay, so thank okay. you very much, very much for to be part of this project. Of this project. My name is Zuzana Adamova. I am the, uh, the uh, intellectual uh, and, uh, and information uh, institute at Ternava University. Ternava University. And I am glad that I about the project of uh, artificial, artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you have enough space for. Uh, for I, I, I see I, 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 so it's very uh, difficult to difficult communicate, with, communicate you. with you. In this very moment, this I have one question regarding the project. Yes, it's clear to me. I just would I like just would, uh, to get the information regarding the first, uh, first, first, first output as the deadline, the deadline has already, has already uh, passed. passed. So, so uh, I would like to would get like information to uh, when do you expect the orders from our and and what form? What Thank form? form. Thank uh, so, uh, Professor, thank you very much for the question. Um, the deadline for the first project milestone is July 20. Okay. It's not June 20. No, it's okay. July 20. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we have thank you. three weeks to prepare a research concept. Thank you very much, Professor. And now, Professor Robert Dobrovolsky. Mr. Professor, please. Yes, hello. Yes, I don't hello. know. I can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Because I still feel I, I, I still get the air call. Maybe you should switch off your, uh, your uh, sound speaker. Sound speaker. Okay, give me a second. I I mean your microphone. Otherwise, there is the echo. Is it now better? Can you hear me? Yes. So hello. Thank you very much for giving me the floor. Um, I would like to emphasize that the choosing the topic of elderly protection is really a pivotal topic in whole Europe. I was working at the Justice Ministry during the 12 years in Bratislava, and I was responsible for family law. And during the last two years of my activities, I was dealing with a daily protection uh, project, which we are planning to include in a Slovak national civil code. Because every member state of the European Union is facing the problem with uh, older link, uh, elderly violence, etc. So I mean, that's great. And uh, just a side information, I'm also the member of the expert group at the uh, university in Netherland and and this university is also dealing with this topic. There are like 25 members, so maybe I can provide you some contacts with another professor from each member states because the national legislatures in every country are now searching for new approach of the guidance protection. It's called guidance law. So really, it was good choice. Congratulations to your institute. It was super choice. Thanks. Mr. Professor, uh, thank you very much for our hearts at, from, uh, on these, your words, very hot words and very kind words. 
So uh, this topic is, I agree with you, we agree with you, is a very actually in this Europe and uh, it's a very sensitive challenges uh, in, the, in the future. And uh, maybe in the end of our project, we will uh, create a new solution, new approach, modern approach to this very, very delicate, delicate topic uh, on our society on the Europe. Yeah, I agree with you. Maybe someone? Okay, so I claim the meeting is, end, is ended. It was great pleasure to speak to, to you to start our project. Uh, we are to your disposal. Uh, Agatha and Conrad wait for your contacts and each other. Uh, we are only a little bit of supervisor on the, each group, Slovakia, Croatia and, and, and Ukraine. So I wish you claim work, uh, fruitful results, and I'm looking forward to our cooperation. It's all. Thank you very much again. See you next time. <laughs>